I said, Jesus, that time I was not truly really born again. I would have led her to you. But he said, but it is too late now. My parents are here right now. They are hearing my, the sound of my voice. My parents are here right now. They are hearing the sound of my voice. Maybe today is the day you are hearing this. Where your mother is right now. Maybe today in the first day my father is hearing it. Where his mother is now. That place is not a place where my father would like to go. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That place, I love her so much. Sometimes when somebody dies, you say, hey, we shall meet and to depart no more. You don't know any person is here. You are cursing yourself. You will meet to depart no more, no problem. If the Lord opens your eyes to know where that person is, you will not pray that prayer. Hell is not a place to be. Every day I pray for my parents. I say, Lord Jesus, help them. Deliver them. That place, they must not go and join their parents in where they are right now. Where my grandparents are is not a place where we will want to go. One day, the Lord opened my eyes to see a man who was a politician in Nagoya Oproji who died not so long ago. He opened my eyes. I saw the man was tormenting. And the spirit said, ask him, what is he doing here? Yeah. I said, ah, Mr. Man, what brought you here? He said, hey, hey, it's women, no. Oh. It's women, no. Oh. It's women. When, because of my position as a politician, I was always carrying people's wives, going from woman to woman. I was drinking. I was drinking beer. I was doing this and that. And he said, I never knew I would die so soon. So from the day I closed my eyes, after that minute, I found myself here. I've been trying to live here. The more I try, the more I am tormented. That same day, I remember I called my father, but he never understood. I said, my father, I saw your friend tonight. My father is here right now. I said, daddy, I saw my friend tonight. And the place and how I saw him is not a place to be. If you are womanizing, daddy, please repent. If you are still drinking, that, hallelujah. Amen. I will start from, the Bible says, Noah could not win any other person out there. But he was able to win his family. And not say glory. But for me to have a pass mark, I must be able to win my family. Thank God, my wife is drying the same rope I'm drying. My children are falling, not gradually. But it would be a pity if my father, if my mother, because of the things of this world, will be in hell, I will be in Ah, God, no! Every day, even three Sundays ago, I called my father. I said, Daddy, I called you. I know what I'm talking about. This, 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 this. You will stop it all. And he said a word to me. Till today, I am still tormenting and lamenting for the word he told me. And that word will not be spoken in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Every day I'm saying, God, that word was not from my father. That word was from the devil. It's not his person. He cannot go there. I will make heaven with my father. I will make heaven with my mother. You will make heaven with your people. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says, we all shall appear before the Lord on that day. How are you going to meet him? I am not ready to meet God in shame. Jesus Christ is a humble man. But if he turn the other side to you, if the Lord Jesus Christ show you the other side, you will not like him. That's why so many pastors are misbehaving. Hey, our God is a merciful God. One day said to me, say, my mercy only exists while you are earth. Hey, it's mercy and joy forever. Say, my son, 
tell my people, would they live forever? Ask yourself that question. My mercy endure forever. Corinthians, the mercy of God expire the day a man expire. Once you are dead, the mercy of God stop there. Then you see Jesus Christ the way he is. Consuming fire. And I pray as many under the sound of this voice under the sound of this voice you are the reason the Lord brought me here tonight. You will not see Jesus in shame in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you Lord Jesus. The Bible says in Revelation 22 <clears throat> Thank you Jesus. <laughs> I read Matthew chapter at First Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 16 to 17. Because time. Open your Bible to the book of First Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 16 to 17. And I read. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of an archangel and with the trump of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first. 17. Then we with our life and remain shall be caught up together with him, with them in the cloud to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Very soon this word shall be manifested. The cloud shall open very soon. We shall see the cloud open, and those who are righteous, those who are holy, shall fly away. All the fornicators, all the thieves, every unrepentant sinner shall be on earth here. And all of a sudden, demons will come out of the air, demons will come out of the ground, and we start tormenting them. That will not be a portion in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Matthew 24, I'll close it with this little time. Matthew 24, from verse 24. For there shall arise, for there shall arise, they are already arising, they are everywhere. They, for there shall arise false Christ. False Christ. Uh, false prophets, false pastors, false apostles. All they are looking for is money. All they are looking for is what you can bring. They don't care about your soul. They shall arise and they are already arising. They are everywhere. And he said, As they I shall show great signs and wonders. The Bible calls it lying wonders. They shall show great signs and wonders in as much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Many elect have been deceived already. People who were supposed to make heaven because they are miracle seekers, they are on their way to hell. Because they perform magic to you. Let me tell you something. Those things they are doing, all those things they see, native daughter also saw, saw it. Native daughter can also see if somebody hearing me. Yeah, they prophesy. Have you forgotten those days where you go to native daughter? Native daughters, they also see. They'll be cajoled in what they are doing. The Bible says they shall arise and deceive you. And I pray. You will not be deceived by them in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Many have been deceived by miracle. Many have been deceived by prophecy. Many have been deceived by lying signs and wonders. And they are on their way to hell. That will not be a portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Verse 44. Matthew 24, 44. So therefore, be ye also ready. I will close with this. Therefore, be ye, be ye, be 
Apostle, be ye. Apostle, be ye. Parents, be ye. Children, be ye. Whoever you are, Corinthians, be ye. Also ready. For in such an hour, I should think not the Son of Man cometh. He will come. For many will be given to marriage, just as it was in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah, just as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be on that day. Faith prophet will still be prophesying. They will still be laying hands on people. People will still be falling down. And all of a sudden, the Lord that we are waiting for shall come and tell you straight away, where will you be? Where will you be? Will you be among them? You cannot walk Ghana visa and say you are going to the U.S. It's not possible. Is somebody hearing me? You cannot have Ghana visa and you are telling me, Apostle Manuel, I will follow you to journey. It's not possible. You cannot follow me. You cannot buy tickets going to Cameroon and you say you want to go to maybe US. It's not possible. You can only go to where your visa is going to. You can only go to where your ticket is going to. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Which ticket are you holding? Which embassy are you working your visa from? You cannot work embassy. You cannot work visa in Satan's embassy, and you are saying you are going to God's kingdom. <laughs> many churches, not all, many churches are Satan's embassy, and many children of God are working their visa there. The most Painful thing is, they are spending their money to work visa to hell. Pastors, that is what is paining me. People are spending their money, their hard earned money, to work visa into hell. Pastor, take this 10,000 naira and the pastor will say, God bless you, my daughter. And Satan will say, you are giving that ticket to hell. You have just bought ticket with your hands. But tonight, the Lord is here to set people free. Yeah. As there are many here whose tickets are directed to hell. But the ticket they are holding is ticket to hell. Before I pray for you, you will give me 10,000 and 2,000, you have just bought a ticket to hell. The Lord says, before I will pray with you, you will sow seed of 10,000. God bless you. God bless you. Come. Before I will pray for you, you will buy this and buy that. What is the difference between you and native daughter? Praise Master Jesus. Yeah. What is the difference between that pastor who collects money, who collects it before he pray, and the native daughter who will also throw his own before he do whatever he's doing? There's a man in Germany. Consider me, God bless you. Consider me. There's a man in Germany. This man is so rich. I mean, very, very rich. But this man was in torment. He does not sleep in the night. He was in pain. One day, somebody gave him a number. And I spoke with him. And as she began to pray, the spirit began to manifest. After the deliverance, the man said, Sir, I have a confession to make. I said, what is the confession? He said, many pastors in this journey, 
they have followed me to native daughter. I will go to them for prayers. They will take me to native daughter. I will spend one million, five hundred thousand, two hundred thousand. So I took me to Calabar, so I took me to Ijebode, to different places. And small, many of these pastors have bought things with them. I go to the altar and bury it there. And as we were talking, I called one of the pastors. I said, Pastor, I want you to listen to this. As the people here say, Apostle, I know before. Please don't, don't let him say it again. Please, it's something. I said, eh, I will blow it as a trumpet. Praise Master Jesus. And the man said to me, Apostle, Pastor, that I have met physically. They could not do what God used you to do now. You preach salvation to me. You pray with me on phone. So what did it happen? I have 200 by 200 in GROA. I give it to you. I say, stop, shut up your mouth. Praise Master Jesus. I say, my brother, shut up your mouth. I am not working for money. I am not working for a plot of land. He said, no. From my heart. And the best say when you do it, you did from your heart to those other pastors. I don't need your money. I don't need your plot of land. Say no, you build a church there. I said, my when the Lord will build church, he will build it himself. The Lord said to me, heal the sick, raise the dead. Freely I've given. Freely you take. I said, there's only one thing I need from you. Say, what is that thing? The Lord Jesus Christ need your soul. Praise Master Jesus. The Lord Jesus Christ need your soul. Some of pastors heard it, they were angry. And I said, don't be angry of me that Jesus I'm serving is not the one you are serving. The one I know is a general Jesus. That when no matter how rich he is, he's not as rich as my Jesus. You want to give me a plot of land so that next time when I pray, I'll be praying according to the plot of land. So pass of pray according to the money you bring. If you bring one thousand, you pray one thousand prayer for you. If you bring ten thousand, the voice will be louder for ten thousand. To bring a car, you will pray, you will pray a car prayer for you. The Jesus that I serve is the one that will see a poor person who will pray the same prayer. See a rich man who will pray the same prayer. The Jesus that I serve is the Jesus that you cannot catch you with money. Thank God, my friend is there. He's, he's, a, he's a wealthy man. Praise God, Jesus. He's here. I've never one day said because he's a rich man, I will let down my God for him. It's not possible. He's here. Praise Master Jesus. I will not downgrade my Jesus to upgrade any man. Your money is nothing before my Jesus. He owes everything. Who knows this song? He got the whole world in his sight. He's got the whole world in his hand. He got the whole world in his hand. He got the whole world in his hand. Hallelujah, heavenly Lord, you are wonderful. You are excellent. You are beautiful. We worship you, Lord, for you are born. All the pounds are in his hands. The 
how rich you are is not an amount of the money you have. Praise Master Chief. How rich a man is, is not being calculated with the amount of money you have. How rich you are is being calculated with the amount of peace a man has. Is somebody hearing me? The wealth is not in the amount of euro you have. In the amount of cash you have. It's the amount of peace you have. And without Jesus, you cannot have peace. Jesus is the peace of peace. Praise Master Jesus. Jesus is the peace of peace. And I know how millions today, and I know how thousands of you today, but I am living in peace. Jesus is in me. Praise Master Jesus. I told my parents, hey, don't be saying my son has not come to build the house at home. <laughs> don't be saying my son don't do it or don't do that. Too. If it pleases the Lord, I will do it. But I will not force myself to come and build house in Nigeria. What house will I build as more than these people? Praise the Lord. Apostle Tony, tell me, what house will I build? What mansion will I build that to see all these people in heaven on that day? What kind of mansion will I build to make my father happy? What kind of mansion will I build? I will start lying for people to start giving me money. Start lying for people like my friend to start sending me money. Uh, I'll say, my father, go to some place and check a land for me. How much is the land? One million. Just pay for it. And you'll be happy. My son has just bought the land. My son is building a house. And that's his son. is on his way to hell. God forbid. Praise Master Jesus. When I was about to call into this journey, I never planned on buying a car. I never planned on buying a car till this year. Say so when I come, if I have the money, I will rent the car and be what use it all, go on bike. But when I was praying, one of the Lord said to me, say my son, I've seen that you don't need a car. I've seen that you are not interested in going home to, to have a car. I see that you are just interested of winning souls to me. But you know what? I have approved a car for you. Praise the Lord. Yeah. So because the journey will be stressful for you, my son. You don't need it. This is what I told you in Matthew 6, 23. Seek ye for the kingdom of God and his righteousness and every other thing shall be added unto you. So my son, I'm giving you a car. It's not even for you, it's for my work. You only have some few time to spend. Leave the car for them to be using for their work, for, the, for my work. He approved it. And he gave me the money. Praise Master Jesus. What are you killing yourself for? He said, Ken, I want to say, because I am, okay, they call them Akate. Let me start driving. I have never told the story. Praise Master Jesus. I have never told the story of the car. I know, okay, let me start going to places where I will not go because car is there. No! I am not here to drive car around. I'm here because of you. Praise Master Jesus. I'm here because of you. So that on that day, you say, I am Pastor Emmanuel. It was the coming to Europe that take me to heaven. And the Lord said, Yes, this woman is here because you preach to her. This man is here because you preach to her. I want you to drive car around. I want you to start going to paparazzi or mamarazzi. No! I'm here to do the work that the Lord has sent me. Last week, he appeared to me. 
No, the very week I came, he appeared to me. He said, my son, you are here now. I said, yes. He said, concentrate on your work. Is somebody hearing me? Oh, yes. He said, my son, you are here now. I said, yes. He said, concentrate on your work. The work I sent you every other day are secondary. What is that in your life that's supposed to be secondary? It's not the best in your life. You are taking job as number one now. You are taking your marriage as number one. You have taken your husband as number one. You have taken your wife as number one. You have taken whatever you are doing as number one. Jesus is nothing for you. Jesus has become nothing for you. Jesus has become second to you. You don't care about Jesus. He died for you. He took you as number one. But you have taken him as number 100 in your life. The Lord wants to deliver somebody tonight. The Lord wants to set people free tonight. Many people here, their visa is hell visa. Their ticket is hell ticket. But the Lord want to turn it tonight into heavenly ticket and heavenly visa in the name of Jesus Christ. Are you here? You are not panicking. Remember, the message says, prepare to meet the Lord. If you are here, you have not given your life to Jesus Christ. Maybe you have given your life to Jesus Christ. But you are not sure of your salvation. Please come out here. I preach a message one day. Tomorrow might not come. Tomorrow might not come. Today might be your last day on earth. The trumpet might sound tonight. Don't let tonight pass you by. Are you there? You are not born again. Or are you there? You are not sure of your salvation. You are not sure if Christ come now, if you will make it. Maybe you still tell lies. You still value your marriage, your farm, whatever you are doing more than Jesus. You are not sure of heaven, brother. You still value your education more than God. You are not yet born again. Please, I am begging you. Come out. Tomorrow may not come for you again. Today is your opportunity to surrender your life to Jesus. Today, tonight, are you there in your houses wherever you are hearing some of this voice? Maybe you are doing ritual. Maybe you are doing Yahoo Yahoo. Maybe whatever you are doing. The Lord has sent me to you tonight. Either your house, neither there or road are here to surrender to Jesus now. Neither in your house, neither wherever you are to accept Jesus tonight. He see you. If you can surrender tonight, the Lord will accept you. My God is not a respecter of any person. In every kindred, in every nation, whoever that surrender to him, he will accept them. Are you still studying? And you are not sure of your salvation. You hardly pray. To pray is a problem to you. To study the word of God. Many of you here, it's only when you are going to church on Sunday, you carry the Bible. You are not born again. Praise the Lord. The only time you remember you must pray or study your Bible is when you want to sleep. You put it under your pillow. You are not born again. Come out, the Lord want to deliver you. Only on Sunday, you are going to church. You carry your Bible. When you come back from church on that day, you drop it on Sunday again. If you are born again, genuinely, the Holy Spirit be troubling you, you must study the word every day. Come out now, the Lord wants to deliver you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You are in your shop every day, but you never remember to talk about Jesus. 
Most of you here, you have never evangelized to anybody. Now you say that you are born again. You are going from street to street. People are dead on the streets. You cannot preach to them. You say you are born again. You are not born again. Mm. If you are born again, you will do the will of your father. Oh, yes. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. If you are born again, you are not a child of God. You will do the will of your father. I remember when I was a child, I always do the will, whatever my father asked me to do. I remember I used to tap rubber. No rubber. I will tap rubber. I will not take a cent out of it. I will hand over all the money to my father. Is he here? Praise Master Jesus. Yeah. I learned it. Even in my secondary school, my university, I was still, af I was still afraid. Even till now, whenever I want to call him, I will first of all balance myself because of the way we grew up. I tap the rubber as I sell it. I will pack all the money. I said, Daddy, this is the money I sold in the, in the rubber today. He said, hey, okay, uh, my son, take this uh, 200, 200 naira. Take this 500 naira and I will be happy, I will be rejoicing. That my father gave me money out of the rubber I tapped. I never knew the Lord was looking at me, was watching me. Was watching me and saying, this is a son I can use. If he can be faithful to his earthly father, is he? If I'm lying, he will say it. If he can be faithful to his earthly father, if I decide to use him, he will be faithful to me. Please teach your children how to be faithful to you. Teach them how to fear God. Build the fear of God in them, and they will not depart from it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, I want to say after me, those who have decided to give their life to Jesus Christ tonight. I thank God for your life. I rejoice with you. And heaven is rejoicing tonight. Amen. The Lord Jesus Christ is jumping. One day, you will open your eyes to see what happened whenever a soul got born again. All the angels be hugging him. Hey, your blood for that woman is no more in vain. The blood of Christ upon your life is no more in vain in the name of Jesus Christ. Say after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I've heard your word tonight. I've been a sinner living in the far country of sin. But tonight, I've decided to come out of sin, to come out of myself. Lord Jesus, you died for me. You resurrected for me. Today, I accept you as my